And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Our next story is from Tunisia, where guardians of the tradition are conserving the centuries-old method to extract olive oil. The olive oil in these traditional mills is handmade with no mechanical intervention. Even as more and more modern milling methods come up in and beyond Tunisia, the centuries-old way to extract olive oil continues to hold a deep relevance. Our next report gets you more. In the heart of this Tunisian town, the olive harvest is in full swing. It's the season of hard work and rich traditions. Tunisians call their olives green gold. For them, it's not just a crop, but a symbol of their country's history, culture, and most importantly, their resilience. Rooted in the dry soil of North Africa, the olive trees can withstand fierce droughts. In a region where clouds barely shower any annual rain, the knots in these olive branches whiz out tales of survival. Tunisia has about 82 million olive trees, which cover an area of 1.84 million hectares. Olive oil accounts for 40% of the country's total agronomic exports. Last year, Tunisia sold olive oil worth $1.65 billion in the international market. The North African country is one of the largest producers of olive oil. But in the rise of Tunisia's olive oil production, modernity has sidelined humanity's companion of centuries, the very tradition. Today, barely half of Tunisia's over 1,500 olive oil mills use traditional methods to process olive oil. One such traditional processing unit is owned by Abdaziz Misfare. Located just 30 kilometers outside of Tunisia's capital, Tunis, Misfare is preserving what he says is a piece of his country's heritage. As olive trees outside undergo seasonal shedding of green gold, inside Misfare's processing unit, time slows down to match the pulse of history. The past is pressed into present. The scent of crushed olives fills the air. And the modern-day Tunisia feels connected with its centuries-old traditions. The traditional mill means, you could say, these are our ancestors' mills from before colonization in Tunisia. They started with these. These machines are very old. And traditional milling means the only intervention with the olive happens in the grinding process. There are no other interventions. Misfare calls his mill a civilizational heritage. Unlike modern mills, it's free of mechanical interventions. The olive oil extracted in this mill is as natural as it can get. From a quality perspective, traditional oil has no mechanical interventions, meaning the physical and chemical properties remain exactly as nature created them in the olive. But in modern mills, it's a different method with many interventions. An olive goes through many stages to become oil. We don't have these stages. For us, it's all hard work, just like our ancestors did. The handwork to extract olive oil is a show of rigorous diligence. The traditional stone called madarat crushed the olives. Then these circular grass bags are pressed by hands. The oil rises to the top as water stays at the bottom. The remaining oil pulp is sold to soap factories. The zibar or olive wastewater is sprayed in fields as natural fertilizer. The traditional milling method is known to all Tunisians. We grind the olives in the madarat using stones, extract that paste and then put it in chwami. It's pressed to extract water and oil. Then it's poured into a basin. We have filtering basins called jawabi, where this mixture settles, naturally due to the density difference between water and oil. The oil rises to the top while water stays at the bottom and we extract that oil by hand. Misfari's mill is more than an olive production site. It looks like a living museum where the tools of labor have not become artifacts. As the grinding stones turn, so does the wheel of history. 
a reminder that tradition doesn't have to be the casualty of modernity. Every bottle of olive oil extracted here appears to be a tribute to Tunisia's past and a gift to its future.